How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Is It a Buyer, where we talk about stocks and try to determine if they are worth a buyer, maybe a pass. My name is Corey. I'd just like to preface the video by saying I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who likes to talk about stocks, so please take what I say with a grain of salt, all right? Let's get into the video, guys. Today, we are talking about BBIG. BBIG did have a huge day today. It was up 22.76%. It ended the day at $8.36. Currently in the after hours, a bit of a retracement, of course, as per expected. It's down 3.59%, uh, and then it is currently at $8.06, right? So a bit of a retracement, exactly what you would expect to see. And we can see it right here. These are the one-day candles. And if we look at the four-day candles, you can see a little more... Uh, just a little more information as to what exactly is going on, right? And so let's go ahead and take a look at the Ortex data and see what is going on with BBIG because something very exciting just happened. There was a short squeeze trigger that was triggered, trigger, <laughs> triggered, triggered today. And we can see right here, BBIG and uh, right here, short squeeze. And so you can see all the other information here. There were two other stocks, just so you know, that were triggered today, um, Lithium America's Corp and uh, standard lithium LTD. So these were also just triggered today. So feel free to take a look at those stocks or if you're interested, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll go ahead and, and take a look at those stocks and look at all that information as well. But for now, I do wanna talk about BBIG a little more um, exclusively, but let's take a look here. We can see right here. So here's the actual indicators, the alpha indicators of the short squeeze. We can see right here is triggered um, just today. And we can see historically where all the other short squeeze uh, signals were and how they performed, right? They also have the performance back in here, where if you were to look here, the success rate and the minimum return and the maximum return of what happens historically whenever there's that short squeeze um, signal, right? And this is only for a certain period of time. It's not, you know, it's just a little bit of information, but you have to take, of course, take it all with a grain of salt and do kind of do your own due diligence and, and just make sure it's all looking right for you. But let's take a look at the, the numbers over here on BBIG, starting with the utilization. You guys know I feel very strongly about the utilization. Remember, utilization being of the shares available to short, how many of them are currently being used, right? How much more ammo do they have? And you can see it's at 99.98%. Um, keep in mind that, let's let's go back to the candles over here. We'll put on the one day candles. Keep in mind this information is T plus two, meaning it's lagging by two days. But even with that uh, being said, currently with that information, it, it would be for right here, whenever there was this, this nice little run. I forgot what this percentage was, probably another 20% back here. So it doesn't account for the for yesterday's information as well as today's information. So this information is gonna change in about two days. Uh, I'll probably do an update, so stay tuned for that. So we can see where BBIG is. Um, full disclosure here, I, I probably should have mentioned this. I do have a position in this stock. Um, I've had a position for a while. I think when it was on the way down um, and I'm, I'm very happy with my position. I, I do have an option, so I do need this to just continue to, to, to climb for me to really make some money, but I feel good about my position. And let's take a look at the Ortex data to show you why I feel so good about my position. Uh, currently, the utilization is still at 99.98%, which is per amazing and really doesn't really get much better than that. The shares on loan is not quite the all-time high, but it's very close. The all-time high being 34 million. We're at 33 million. Again, T plus two. So we'll see where we are in two days from today. Um, and then we have the short interest. So short interest, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I, I believe, personally believe, that short interest needs to be above a certain amount, a certain amount, right? Above like 10 or 15%. And currently it's at 24%, 25%, it's it's plenty. So even though this retraced a little bit, really not worried about that at all. So it's looking absolutely perfect. Um, actually, you know what, while we have some extra time, I'm gonna go ahead and look at these two stocks really quick so we can see what's going on here. We can see if there were any short uh, squeeze indicators historically. Looks like there was one all the way back here around August 10th. And the low was, we'll say the average of 16, right? Perfect. Average of 16. They're currently around 26, you know, 20, we'll say 25. So it is up significantly from when that short squeeze signal was uh, indicated. However, if you would have sold pretty quickly whenever the stock started to, to, to fall, uh, if you had like a trailing stop loss or something, it probably would have been executed and you probably would have uh, lost some money on the trade. But if you held, then you're, you're sitting, uh, you're, you're pretty good right now. Um, Let's go ahead and take a look at the stock as it is here on the 
the short interest information and see what's going on, right? So, you know, uh, keep in mind, so notice that the utilization here is around 84%. Me personally, just the numbers I've been noticing, I am looking into data analysis and I have stuff going on behind the scenes with developers to try and really break down some of this information a little bit further. But uh, we can see here, utilization 84%, right? And it still tri uh, triggered that short uh, squeeze trading signal. Now, again, no one knows if anything's gonna come of it. Personally, I'm not gonna take a position in, in this stock. Um, but, you know, I figured we'd take a look at the numbers really quick just in case anyone is interested. Uh, utilizations there, all, shares on loan is kind of coming down, all time high being 18.9, so we'll call it 19 million. Uh, we're currently at 13 million, um, and the percentage of the free float on loan is about 14.28% which my theory is that's probably how much fuel is in the tank based on how many apes would need to hold the stock for it to run. And that's kind of a working theory that I have going on. So that's how many shares are on loan. And then the short interest is around 10%. As you can see, Ortex has much different metrics for what they feel could have, could, could cause a short squeeze. Uh, I'm not sure if theirs are more accurate or, or anything, but based on their self-claim numbers, uh, their short squeeze trading signal does very, very well. We'll take a quick look at this last one right here, standard lithium, and see where they are. We can see this short squeeze trading signal has triggered uh, two other times before, and we can see the, the mean return, and this one is not available. I'm not really sure why that is, but again, it just depends on how long you hold it for. Um, we'll determine that. So let's also take a look at the quick numbers over on the short interest page and see what's going on here. So if we look at the utilization, 95.78%. I feel like the utilization needs to be above 95% to see some kind of movement, and we that does check that box. Let's take a look at these shares on loan. Shares on loan just had a huge spike. So this is something that I've noticed. Whenever the shares on loan has a huge spike like this, this is what we saw with um, PROG. Whenever it has a, a crazy spike like this, sometimes if you get in like as soon as you see the spike, I've noticed that it usually will have some kind of run. Granted, I've only seen this, I think, two other times beside this stock um, and PROG. I think I saw it one more time, but uh, just something I've, I've noticed, again, work in, work in progress on, on my a few theories that I have going. I, theoretically, I would love to have a formula of which stocks I feel super confident in because I would like to take some massive positions um, in some of these and see if I can make it work in my favor, but uh, maybe a pipe dream. So shares on loan jumped up from 1.5 million to 3.4 million um, right there. Percentage of the free flow on loan, not my favorite, 2.41%. Keep in mind, this doesn't count for naked shorts or anything if there would be that. Estimated short interest has skyrocketed to, you know, two percent, which, in my opinion, is is kind of high, I guess, compared to, compared to other non heavily shorted stocks. But even then, not really my favorite. Not something that I am personally going to be taking a position in. Uh, so just take that for for what it is. Um, I don't think every every play is going to be a short squeeze or every play is going to be super big returns. But I, you know, I do want to continue to monitor these and see if anything does come of it. All right, uh, but that's about half for you guys. I just wanted to bring this to your attention really quick, just in case anybody's curious or trying to make some plays or uh, has a little more of a risk tolerance. Please make sure you're managing your risk and uh, making your own decisions. Uh, don't rely on anyone at all to 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 make these decisions and decisions for you. All right, uh, but that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. You guys have a fantastic day. Peace.